Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can connect your PS4 or PS5 controller to PC with a DS4 Windows, and it will pretend, pretend that you will use a Xbox controller. And it's quite easy and straightforward, so without further ado, let's get started. First of all, open a browser, and then you need to look for, uh, just write DS4 Windows, and then you need to look for a website that is called GitHub by uh, RioChan7. So we need to press on this link here and then we need to do a few things here first of all we need to uh, install the framework uh, 64 bits and to our computer here so i will save on the desktop and also we need to install a 64 bit version of ds4 here and install to your desktop uh, or just download it and then once you have files here then we need to install uh, the files to uh, our computer uh, as well right so first of all i need to find the framework it should be somewhere on my computer and i don't find it here so <coughs> i want to download again. I, I will just download it again the downloads for example and i need to keep it here and once you download the files here then you should have these two files and then first you need to install the framework super easy and fast just press install button and you'll be good to go here and after that you need to extract the ds4 and just basically let's open it let's extract to desktop here and here it will be the folder and then in, on the folder you need to look for this icon here you need to press on that and then you should see a uh, pick where you want to pro where you want the profiles and settings to be saved uh, so you need to press to uh, you can save it to update or program folder so i like to use program folder here and then uh, as you can see here you need to uh, select uh, ds4 the device support if you're using a ps4 controller if you're using ps5 controller you, you need to use this one and etc right so depending on what controller you're using you need to select the support here right and then after that you need to close that and then you will see this installation guide here and uh, for some reason if you don't see this installation guide it will be on the settings and uh, it will be this one driver uh, troller driver setup but if you see the installation guide then what you need to do here is to install a vgm bus driver here and then as you can see here you need to install it uh, we need to wait for a few seconds and after that install complete and then here it should detect your uh, controllers here right so if i log in and my controller as you can see here uh, my controller should be uh, detected if i press start here as you can see here now my controller is detected and if i unplug it as you can see your controller is gone and if i plug it again uh, my controller now is detected so after you complete these uh, steps basically now my computer thinks that uh, my ps4 controller is basically xbox uh, controller and then you can if you want you can uh, edit uh, the bindings if you press on edit here then you can change the dead zones do a bunch of different things and also you can here uh, change the bindings if you want to here uh, as well so yeah that's pretty much it and if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye